So if you are catching us live, we are going to have this posted uh, replay as well. You remember Sarah, our good Hi, friend everybody. Sarah, cooking with Sarah, rock star Sarah. So, but Styles forgot to share this with you yesterday. So first time you're hearing about it was about 45 minutes ago. I apologize. Please forgive me. There's been a lot going on the last few days. So, but we're here and starting in two weeks, Sarah, we're going to start having Sarah on regularly. And she's actually going to be like cooking and prepping in front of us. But for today, in honor of National Chocolate Cake Day, which was Monday, we're two days late. We are, but Sarah's a busy lady and we had to go with her schedule. So this is what we got, right? Literally so, and right. yes, and we're so appreciative and grateful, Sarah. So thank you. Um, she does not have to do this. She's just, she just like, she has a huge passion for cooking and especially with a healthy edge. And we wanted to share that with you. And it looks like you've loved it as much as well. And we will be having the recipe for this pinned and shared with Pinterest. It may take us 24 hours, but we will have that good to go shortly. So thank you for your patience and that. Please bear with us. Sarah, tell us what you're making, what you did, anything you want to share. Okay. I'm just going to watch and sip it. These are chocolate cake donuts with a peanut butter glaze and mm. they are so, there we go. They are so yummy. <laughs> um, Do we I, get to taste those? Yes. Okay. So they're not like, it's not plastic, like fake. Or, okay. No. No, it, they're 100% real, and um, yeah, so there's like some toasted peanuts on top. Um, they're just so good. I made these last night, and I might have eaten two of them, <laughs> which means I did. Right? So my husband actually ended up trying them. He's like, oh, I just want a bite. And he was like, oh, my gosh, when he started eating it, he was like, these are so good. So I bet. One bite didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But I was excited to share these with you guys because they are uh, gluten-free and <coughs> refined sugar-free. And there's some butter, but you could make them dairy-free if you used ghee or coconut oil. So yeah, that's can I just interrupt are. and say how helpful it is? Like, especially we are, and please give us hearts and thumbs up if you agree with this or you're struggling with this as well. It's Valentine's Day coming up soon, yeah, you know, two that's weeks. True, a couple and weeks. for those of us who like to hopefully eat a little bit healthier, but love chocolate. Oh my gosh, yes. It's really nice to have options that really taste good, but may not have you know 200 grams of sugar per. Right. <laughs> now these are definitely, I mean, they're not like overly sweet or anything, but you'll definitely get your sweet tooth fix with these. So I... I'm an expert food tester. I can't cook worth a hoot, but I can test. She's good at testing. I am. I'm an excellent so food tester. That's why we work, because <laughs> I'll make the food and she can test it out. That's right. That's right. So, so. Yeah. But these are one of my um, favorite recipes that I have done recently, and I'm just very happy with how they got Yes. Ooh, Nick says, awesome. I have to have gluten free. So, okay. Yeah. If you have um, like diet, let's just say dietary interest, obviously this is a side thing. We may even put this on Lori Styles on my personal uh, profile instead of top sweeps if it's not a broader interest, but um, we both have a lot of interest in kind of healthy options, but are both total foodies and love food. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, you know, if you have specialty things that you would have interest in Sarah kind of targeting and focusing on, we can ultimately take that off of top sweeps here or top sweep styles and just, I'll take it to my personal profile page and we'll just cook away because I love it. So if you have like gluten free or, you know, sugar free, or um, I know there's some folks that have like celiac, mm -hmm. which is a gluten uh, you know, issue. There's lots of different things. So if you have something, drop and pop. Let us know. We'll take it into consideration and see what we can do. Yeah. So Sarah right. knows all. There's a hashtag. I Sarah try. knows all. <laughs> maybe not all. I mean, when it comes to hunting and everything, but like baking and cooking, I try. Yes. So there's certain aspects, I guess. But, yes. Um, if you guys are curious as to what's in these, um, I can kind of list off the ingredients quickly as far as like what I use. Oh, please, them. yes. So in these, um. I did use almond flour, um, like a sugar replacement. I also used uh, cocoa powder, a superfood cocoa powder. So there was like antioxidants and all that really good stuff in it. Um, baking powder, which is pretty standard. Um, mm -hmm. I use Himalayan pink salt because I just prefer that. Um, any brand of that like yes. is great. Um, Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> You're just in time for Yum yes. Yum. Whoop, whoop. Um, Valentine's Day alternatives. After, well, I don't know if you saw, not to interrupt your recipe, but I, yeah. they, they, we've been giving away a bunch of it's like chocolate covered Oreos. Ooh. And so we've had tons of uh, selfies posted and stuff, and they look amazing. I'm I like, love I chocolate covered Oreos. Yes. I made um, 
chocolate covered peanut butter Oreos with crushed candy canes on top for Christmas. And oh, you shared them. You shared a couple. Of me. Oh my gosh! People they were, were yelling at me because they couldn't stop eating them, and I'm like, it's all in the Oreo. Like they're so easy to make. It's just the like whatever combination you make. I feel like. Drop, was, drop a comment so if you have ever been given a food by someone else <laughs> that you literally could eat until you were sick because it tasted so good, and then you're like, oh. That's me with just about everything. It's hard to have control. They were I amazing, love, though. I they were. Food yeah, so I do. <laughs> so, like, oh, that's why oh. last night I had two donuts instead of one. I was like, so, another one's fine. Why stop at one, especially yeah. when they're healthy, right? Yeah, Let's I just have like, more. It's like, it's fine. It's almond flour, nuts, and protein. <laughs> Oh okay. my god, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, the additional ingredients in this, I used uh, mm -hmm. almond milk uh, for the glaze mm -hmm. and uh, butter, peanut butter, um, really good vanilla extract. You can, I can always tell when you don't use a good vanilla. It's maybe a yes. little bit more expensive, but it goes a longer way. And, and you can actually use less, so it actually yeah, does spread exactly. out. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It's just, it's worth it. Um, yep. More bang for your buck. Yep. Um, I use organic heavy whipping cream. Um, and yeah, you needed a little bit of water to kind of like thin the glaze out because it did set up pretty quickly because of the certain ingredients I used. I used like a powdered erythritol sweetener and everything, but it worked out really well and I had fun making them and then just sprinkling the peanuts on top. So then you get these little... And again, the recipe is going to be shared here, and yes. we'll make a pin for Pinterest as well. Mm -hmm. And on a totally different topic, Sarah, I'm just going to ask you, do you have any, I don't even know if you follow football, but do you have anything for Super Bowl, anything? They've been talking about it, and our Super Bowl, the reason I'm asking is our Super Bowl giveaway is today. Okay. So I figured if you had any opinion about it, if you don't, that's totally cool too, but if you have any opinion on it on like recipes no or football just football. For, for okay. the Super Bowl for who's so, winning this I, don't I just really do this that or, that's what I'm saying so <laughs> I, I may not even did, know yeah I only did a couple of years ago because um <laughs> my husband's an Eagles fan and the Eagles were in the Super Bowl there so you go I watched it to support him but I mean I'll kind of watch and I'm in it for the commercials I guess so <laughs> who else in it for the commercials that's fair sister yeah, come on there we go so, there we go yeah, and so. the food of course I'm just like back watching the game like yeah that's good yeah. just like eating Doritos <laughs> and, you know and do you have anything special planned for Valentine's Day or do you actually do things some people Valentine's Day is a big thing some really couldn't give a hoot yeah my husband and I will normally either cook a nice dinner in or we'll go out and grab food somewhere so just something you know typical flowers no roses for me though I I'm not a fan of roses I like flowers that look like pretty like wildflowers and weeds so <laughs> my husband flowers we can plant I like know. flowers that can plant and grow yeah. and last forever. every yes. year yeah so yeah. I mean yeah we we like to to do that and just you know it's good it's a good <laughs> excuse to like get out and go on a date with each other amen to that because so. we have we'll see we have the Super Bowl giveaway today Mm -hmm. We have Valentine's giveaway tomorrow, and then believe it or not, do not do. Are you familiar with foosball? Like a foosball oh, table? Oh yeah. Okay, we're giving away our first foosball I love table foosball. on Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I yep. want to enter that. I right. know, can't do it. Sorry. I mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. foosball. We nope. grew up playing that, and I'm pretty good at it. Are you really? No. But <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so those are our next three giveaways, our major ones here on top of everything else. So those links are going to be dropped below, by the way. So don't miss out on that. Yes. So thank you so much for being, do I get to taste them? Of course you okay, do. Okay, so I get to, you know. Just don't put the whole thing in your mouth. No. <laughs> a couple months ago. What did I do that with? It was much it was smaller like than these. It was like a peanut butter chocolate chip ball, so. These are so um, moist. moist. Yes. Wow. Okay. So good with coffee. <laughs> I think she's happy. Mm -hmm. Wow, the peanut butter glaze those are absolutely fantastic. Okay. It's like just the perfect amount of sweetness, and then you get yeah, like is. a little saltiness from the nuts on top, and oh. and it actually tastes like a donut though. Like a lot of times when you have healthy food, yeah, it doesn't actually taste that's like what, what it's I supposed thought. to. I, that's why I eat two. I'm like, I have to mm -mm. make sure these are as good as I thought. So. <laughs> Had to eat two just to You did it. awesome, girl. Awesome. <laughs> and as usual, I'm stuffing Yay. my face, so. Hey, that's fine. You have yummy food. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Thank you so much for being You're here. You're welcome. I always have so much fun. Yeah, and we're going to continue with my mouth full. In 2020, you know how we celebrate random holidays? Mm -hmm. <laughs> very random holidays. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> random holidays. Monday was National Bubble Wrap Day. I got to be like, 
Oh, all day so long. that's what all the mm-hmm. bubble wrap was mm-hmm. for. Okay, mm-hmm. that makes sense. I didn't even know. Yeah, chocolate tape day and bubble wrap day. Like, you can't lose with either one of those. Well, there you go, yeah. So, but we're going to have her kind of rein her in with themes, and she's going to be cooking all sorts of different things and fixing, and some are going to have healthy versions of them, some not so healthy versions on them, and it's all good, but we're just going to have fun here. So give us some feedback on cooking with Sarah, and if you have any specialties or anything that you think that Sarah may be able to help you kind of drill down and focus on, let us know that as well. And like I said, we'll just take it to my profile page if it's not something that is top sweep styles friendly or there's not enough interest we'll just take it over there so no worries at all just drop and pop let us know your feedback thank you so much for being You're here welcome. Sarah. thanks for having me guys see you noon eastern standard time for spinner winner and 4 p.m eastern standard time for mystery games and giveaways again links are going to be posted below thanks for being here have a Bye, good day everybody. <laughs>